<laughs> Hello, Captains. It is the Doctor in Star Trek Online. There's one more thing that I mentioned in the last video for Season 14 that I could do. Now, I don't usually do this type of video, mostly because I don't have the resources to do it. Uh, but this time, I've got just a little bit. So I'm going to do it for you guys, just so we can see what's in the lockbox. Now, there have been a ton of lockboxes, of course, since lockboxes were introduced in Star Trek Online, and I do not have videos on each one because, like I said, I have not really made specific videos to cover what's in a lockbox because, well, it's a gambling device, and I don't like to gamble my resources too much simply because they are hard to get. Master keys are expensive, but I had some extra energy credits, and I decided... Well, let's go ahead and do it for you all, and we can take a look at this and what's in the new Zenkethi lockbox. So I have 20 Zenkethi lockboxes. These are just regular Zenkethi lockboxes. And I have 10 master keys. So we're going to open 10 Zenkethi lockboxes. I know it's not a lot, and usually people that do these kinds of videos do hundreds of lockbox openings to try to get a ship and all of that. I don't have that. I've got 10 master keys. That's it. So that's all I can afford. And as you can see, I'm down. I got I only have five million energy credits left now. So I'm poor once again, and I've got no dilithium either. So you can see my resources, and this is my main character. My resources are quite small when it comes to dilithium and energy credits. I'm usually, I usually don't have a lot. <laughs> but what I, what I do have, I'm going to show you guys, and we're opening 10 of these lockboxes right now. Maybe I'll get a ship. I'm usually not that lucky, though. But here we go. We'll go one at a time and see what the reward is. One. Okay, got a genetic resequencer, space trait, oblique shielding. We'll look at that. Um... The space traits are not that uncommon to get, really. Even though it's a very rare item uh, in the lockbox, these genetic resequencers are pretty common uh, when you open lockboxes. It just depends which type you get. Okay, that's one of one. And we're getting low buy crystals with this. So uh, the way I look at it is this way. I've got 540 low buys right now. So if I can get enough low buys, I can get a low buy ship. So I'm also ward working toward that, because I do want to get that Zinkethi battleship. Okay, let's open another. 500 reputation mark bonus pool. Not a big deal. Those you could buy off the exchange. That's not a real excellent prize, even though it is very rare. A research and development pack. Pretty useless to me, because I don't do R&D. However, you can turn these around and sell these on the exchange for a pretty good amount of money. 100 fleet mark bonus pool, very small. Again, you can buy bonus pools off the exchange for not too expensive, so that's not great. I'll probably turn these around to recoup some of my energy credits. Whoa! No way! Whoa! Da! Boo! Ah! E! Holy crap! Okay, you saw it here, guys. I got myself a Zenkethi Escort Tier 6. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. This does not happen to me, guys. This does not happen to me. It's, it's you all. It's you. I'm recording this video for you guys on the internet, on YouTube right now. It's because of that that I got this ship. Oh my gosh. I gotta tell the world. I can't believe this. You guys, I'm, I'm, I'm honestly speechless. You guys do not know how excited, how exciting this is for me right now. I have opened plenty of lockboxes in my life in Star Trek Online. I have rarely, and I mean rarely, gotten a ship out of a lockbox. And if it was a ship, it was like a tier five ship or a, one of those, uh, those simple ships. Never has it been a tier six ship. This is not and uh, this is not common for me. This is not common. I'm I'm in awe right now. 
I mean, this is the best result I could have hoped for. I was recording this video thinking, you know what, the results I get are probably going to be pretty lame. Probably not even going to post this video because it's stupid. I'm not going to have any nice things that I'm getting from a lockbox. I've only got 10 master keys. And here we go, the fifth one, I get the tier, the new tier 6 escort. I mean, holy crap. That's the best result I could have hoped for. I'm... I can't believe it. So yeah, I'm gonna do a review on this ship. Guess what ship I'm reviewing in the future, everybody? I'm reviewing a Zenkethi Shukdin Escort Tier 6. That is right. I cannot wait to put that on. I have heard the ship is actually really good. Why sad, Lord Darkness? Why sad? It's a free ship. Actually, it wasn't free. I, I did spend 53 million energy credits to get 10 keys. So I did spend energy credits that I had worked hard on. But a ship! I mean, oh my gosh. I can't believe it. I, I'm, I'm just sitting here like, wow. You don't know how good this is for me to have this right now. I just normally don't get that kind of stuff. There have been times, let me put it this way, there was a time once when I did like 300 keys at once. No joke, I purchased, I spent like, this was a couple of years ago or something, but I spent like lots of money, like real money, and I had like, this was like when keys and lock boxes were kind of new or whatever, I had got like 300 keys, and I'm like, oh yeah, I'm gonna get all kinds of ships. 300 keys spent, 300, it was three or 400, three or 400 lock boxes opened, not one ship. And I've done stints like that before where I've done 100 or 200 lock boxes, not one ship out of those. And here I only do 10 and I get one on the fifth, fifth try. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. I mean, wow. I want to see how much that also sells for in the exchange. Zinkethi Intelligence Briefing. I don't know what that is, but we'll take a look at it. Another one. Diffusive Tetrion Weapons. I'm guessing that will help with my Zinkethi ship, maybe? Another 500 Reputation Mark bonus. Again, I'll probably recoup some EC on that. And Zenkethi Intelligence Briefing again. And there's my 10 keys spent. That was, I mean, 53 million energy credits spent, 10 keys, and I got this ship. I'm immediately going to see how much of this ship is worth in the exchange. I'm not going to sell it. I am going to use it. But I just want to see what it would go for if I wanted to sell it. Where's my button? So let's just put it in here. One billion, one billion dollars, but uh, at the, I'm on descending, aren't I? Let's do ascending. 235 million energy credits. So that's how much this ship is worth. If I wanted to sell it, I could get some pretty good energy credits. But that really doesn't help me. I would rather have the ship. Wow. I mean, this is... This is just unheard of for me. I uh, cannot believe this. I am definitely going to publish this video because I was debating before whether I was going to publish, actually put this video on YouTube or not. If my results were lame, I really wasn't even going to show this video because it just wasn't worth it. But this ain't lame. This is not lame. At all. I'm not going to use it on this character because I want to put it on my tactical it is I guess you can change it between characters at least I hope so Let's see the agile Shukden escort formidable shields forward-facing weapons array Lieutenant Tactical Miracle Worker Bridge Officer seat I can finally che check out that Miracle Worker Bridge Officer seat I have been wanting to look at that. Zinkethi Shukdin Escorts come with the Peripheral Refraction Array. Oh yeah, that's right. Defensive along all non-forward shields. Okay. 
Yeah, I cannot wait to try this out. This is going to be pretty cool. I'm going to use this and I'm going to review it. I'm going to make good use of it. It is going to good use. Let's see what else everything is here. We've got the oblique shielding. Gain damage resistance based on the percent of shield you have remaining. It's a space trait. I kind of want to see how much the I could sell these things for. This is only going for 1.2 million, so I mean I won't get a lot for this, but a little bit. So these aren't too expensive. You could just buy these off the exchange. They're not very expensive, so I knew that that was probably not going to be worth a lot. These bonus pools are very cheap. 224,000 energy credits, so I'm not going to get a lot for that. R&Ds, I should get something for these. Uh, 1.4 1, 1 million? Yeah, the R&Ds are not what they used to be either, so those really aren't worth a lot. The fleet mark bonus, 250,000. Let's see what, what these intelligence briefings are are. These are a little more, close to three million each, and I got three of them. Let's see. Open the case to receive a Zenkethi intelligence assignment, which can be used to initiate a special duty officer assignment. So these are duty officer assignments. Gathering large experience, dilithium, and R&D materials as rewards. So if that's interesting to you, these are in here for like three million. I'll probably end up selling these so I'll get a little bit. And then you've got the diffusive Tetrion weapons. These are, well, 1.8 million, but I'm probably going to end up using this. Get a random beam or a cannon. But I'm going to wait and move this over to my tactical character before I open it. And I'll see what I get, because I'm going to use this ship on him. And then I might use the new Tetrion weapons on him. I'm going to have to anyway, because I think Tetrion is the energy type you want to go with with the new Zenkethi ships. So, therefore, and... I will use that there. So this stuff here I'm just going to sell. Let's go to my bank and I'm going to put this ship and stuff over there. That's mail. That's mail, right? I'm going to put my ship and the Tetrion weapons on my tactical character. Open them on there because he will be using that stuff. Man, I still can't believe I got the ship. I mean, I was wanting this ship, this ship, and the new battleship. I was wanting them both. Yeah, wrong one. I need a count bank. So, ship. Tetrion weapons. I'm going to change characters. I'm not going to set this ship active, but I am going to load her up, unpack it, so we can go ahead and take a look at it real quick. Gotta go pick it up, duh. Oh, stop doing that. Off. Let's go unpack this real quick, and we'll see what we got here. Now, should I put beams or cannons on my Shukdin Escort? That's a good question. <laughs> beams or cannons? Boy, my inventory is full.
So we get Diffusive Tetrion Weapon Random Cannon and Diffusive Tetrion Weapon Random Beam. I'm actually not going to select this yet because I don't know if I'm going to go with cannons or beams yet on this ship. I've got no idea. But let's open it. Special Requisition Pack Zenkethi Shukdin Escort. Let me make sure I've got a free ship slot because my ship's getting stuck on things. My ships may be full. Let me check real quick. Might have to dry dock one. Um, active ship slots five. Nope, I'm good. Okie dokie. So we can open this, and I just won't make it active yet, but let's open it so we can take a look at it. Man, I cannot believe. Here it goes. This is great. I cannot wait to publish this video. This is exciting. Zinkethi, Shukdin Escort, Tier 6, go. Wow, look at it. Congratulations. You may rename Dro 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 Doromore. Base hole 36, shield 1.4, base turn 16, 4, 5, 4 weapons, 5, F2, device 2. Look at that. I got one. Let's go take a look at it in the ship selector. Uh, drawer. Look at that. That's the new escort, guys. Crab, crab looking thing. That looks cool. I love the skin on it. It looks real good, the texture on it. So here's the experimental weapons slot. This is a protomatter laced sheller. Kinetic radiation damage increased based on forward angle. 360 degree arc. It does kinetic damage, radiation damage. That looks cool. Can't wait to try that out. We've got the console here, which they put in the tactical slot. I'll move it, of course, because I don't want it in a tactical slot. But this is the um, peripheral refraction array, plus 20 starship shield regeneration, plus, uh, and it's got 10% shield resistance. Shield regen plus res damage buff versus forward for 10, 15 seconds, 50%. Shield hardness and 500 second shield regeneration to non front shields, plus 50% all damage within forward 90 degree firing arc. Well, I'll try it out. And here's the mastery unlocks accuracy, defense, kinetic damage, and, and energy damage, critical chance, and then here's the trait an AoE shield drain from shield healing. When using a shield heal, drains shields from foes within three kilometers of the healed ally or self. Drain is equal to shield healing dealt, divided evenly among up to five foes. So I guess as I heal, I'm draining shields from enemies around me, so that's interesting. Wow, look at this weapon. Diffusive Tetrion Turret. Oh, look at these. These are sharp icons. Diffusive Tetrion. I wonder what that looks like. That could be really cool. I kind of want to know right now what that looks like. Should I ready the starship and just go check this out real quick, guys? Yeah, let's do it. I mean, why not? It's my video. I'll do what I want. I'm, gonna, I'm not even going to load up the stuff from my old ship on here. Of course, I'm... This is a ship I'm going to be doing a review on, and I got really good stuff on it, but I'm not even going to put all that on there right now. I'm just going to ready this starship, and I just want to take a look at what Diffusive Tetrion looks like. I'm so curious. So this ship has nothing on it, just the bare bones. We'll go into a quick patrol and just take a look at what Tetri the Diffusive Tetrion looks like. How about that? I mean, this is not really built for combat. I won't take it into anything that has team members with me because it's not ready. But wow, look at that. Oh, man, beautiful. What is this? Peripheral refraction array. Whoa. That is cool.
I like it. <laughs> what was the other thing? Oh, I guess the uh, the trait we can't look at yet. Let's turn on all my weapons here to automatic and let's go test this thing out. We also want to look at the experimental weapon. Does it need its own thing? We just go through here real quick. Tetrion dual, dual cannons, dual heavy, turret, turret. Yes, it does need its own icon. No, it doesn't. It's part of, okay, it's on auto fire. So it really doesn't need its own icon. Let's see if there's anything else to test out real quick. Nope. Let's go do a quick patrol and just see what these diffusive Tetrions look like. I'm just really curious. Obviously, it has nothing on it. It's not really loaded for anything. Let's go to Japori. Just do this quick patrol by ourselves. I don't even know if I have cannon abilities on here. I should. Oh man, we are going slow. Transwarp 20. Dang, we are moving slow. Guess I could set some of my station. Go ahead and set up a station or two. Uh, let's do. You must be. You're a pilot seating, aren't you? I don't have a pilot bridge officer. I need to get one. Well, anyways. You're universal. I thought it was science for a second, but it's universal. It's just highlighted in blue. Okay, so I can put anything there. Let's do tactical you. Now I should have some cannon powers. Let's do... Um, oh, you're the new miracle worker seating, aren't you? Beautiful. I don't have one of you yet. <laughs> I will eventually. And you're science. What science do I usually use? I don't even know. And then you're universal. I don't know what I'll use you for. Figure it out, I guess. Anyway, at least I have some powers now and some of my bridge officer set. And I should have some cannon powers somewhere so I can try out the cannons. Where's my cannon stuff at? There's rapid fire. Is, there, is it not down here? Oh, here it is. Okay, I do have rapid fire. So I'll use that. Let's try this thing out. If I explode or die, it's obviously because I don't have any good equipment on right now. You guys know that. This is just a test to see what diffusive Tetrion looks like. That's pretty much it. I'm going to go... I'm gonna go do a high, uh, not a high yield, but a, you know what I mean. Oh, was that, did I do scatter, scatter volley? I meant to do rapid fire. Wow, that looks cool. That looks really cool, guy.
I got no power right now. Wow, the visuals are really cool with the weapons on this thing. The visuals are really cool, and the ship does move very good for the gear that's on it anyway. Let's see what the... Not really clear what this does. Let's see. Plus 50% shield hardness. Regeneration to non -part. Oh, 50. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. So this should give us a lot more firepower here. That's pretty cool. So where's the heavy matter? Not heavy matter, the uh, experimental thing. Alright, here's the experimental protomatter lace sheller. Let's fire it by itself and see what it looks like. Just by itself. Of course, all my weapons are going to fire because they're on auto-fire. I'm going to pull out real quick. I'm going gonna, gonna to take everything back off auto-fire. Just so we can fire this manually. There we go. Okay, so it's that yellow thing. So that's what it looks like. That's the turret. It's got dual beam banks. That's cool looking. That's cool. Wow, cool. All right, I think that's a pretty good, um, pretty good demonstration. Obviously, we're not geared up and ready, you know, for real combat situations yet. 
in this ship. Got a long ways to go to build it up, but of course I will. But that's pretty cool. We got to look at the diffusive Tetrion stuff. That's what I was looking for anyway. I wanted to see what the visuals look like. Let's see what diffusive Tetrion itself does. What makes it unique? Diffusive Tetrion weapons have a chance to reduce the target's shield resistance while bolstering the users. So it's pretty similar to the trait that this ship has. It bolsters our shields and drain, drains or reduces the target's shield resistance. Very similar to the trait we're going to get at Mark uh, 5 there. Tier 5. So that's pretty cool. That's what Diffusive Tetrion does. So it's quite obvious I want to go with a Tetrion build on this ship because that's what the Zenkethi stuff is all about, especially in the reputation. You get all the... Uh, you get the um, the new sets and everything with it. It's all Zenkethi. It's all... Um, Tetrion base. So uh, a Tetrion build is what I want. Little thing, you're stupid. Go away. Tetrion build is definitely what I want. Question is, do I want all cannons? A mix of beams and cannons? Or all beams? I need some help, guys. Post in the comments what you think I should do in terms of cannons or beams. Should I go all cannons? Should I go all beams? Should I go a mix of cannons and beams? And then what should that look like? And then also important, what should I have in the aft? Remember, this ship is very much geared toward forward firing. It has that ability here, which is all based toward forward firing. So I want to configure this ship in a way that I will be forward firing most of the time which means I probably want something that's 360 degrees in the aft whether it be a turret or rather be an omnidirectional beam I want something that's 360 in the back so that when I fire forward it will be firing forward with me so keep that in mind I want something 360 in the back it could either be a turret or an omni and it's all going to be Tetrion anyway. Maybe diffusive Tetrion, but definitely Tetrion. And then I just don't know what to do with the front. Beams, cannons, a mix. I like to keep one way or the other. Either go all cannons or either go all beams. Simply because I can make my bridge officer powers all to that one type. Rather than mixing them up and wasting slots for that, that kind of stuff. But... I need some help on that. Let me know what you think I should do with that build. And in in the future, you're going to see a review of this ship. Zenkethi Shukdin Escort. There will be a review. Cannot wait to do it. It's so exciting. I can't believe I won this in a lockbox of all things. I mean, that is just unheard of for me, honestly. So I'm I'm just over the moon on that. I'm over the over New Romulus. I'm over Kronos. I'm over whatever planet you can name. <laughs> uh, amazing. Absolutely amazing. And I slowly warp off into nothingness. So, wow. Well, thank you all for watching this video. Definitely going to publish this video now to show off this ship because what a catch. What a catch. Very happy about that. The only other ship that I do want now is I do want to get the battleship in the low buy store. How many low buys did I get? I, I don't think I have enough yet, but when I get enough low buys, I want to get the Zinkethi battleship in the low buy store. And then there's the other one. There's the um, the little one you can get. I don't even know what it's called. It's the new Lucari ship, the, the UFO looking one. The one that's not a triangle, but actually a circle. I don't know, I forgot what it's called, and it's probably in the exchange by now because I'm sure some people have gotten it. I think you can you can get it from the lockbox. Otherwise, I believe it's a uh, it's in the exchange. I just want to look real quick because that is another ship I really want, and I have heard that it is upgradable from tier 5 to tier 5U 
And that is definitely a ship I want to play around with. I just don't know how much it would cost me. I'm not even sure where to start looking for it. It's is it Lucar is it just a Lucari ship? Yeah, that's it. The Nakam Scout ship. Okay, it's only 15 million energy credits. That's really not a lot. I don't have enough to purchase it. Well, I don't on a, this character, but I believe if I combine my energy credits from a, a few characters, I should be able to afford it. So I'm going to go ahead and pick me up a Nakam Scout ship because I want that. It is um, science. It's a science ship. So I'm going to put that on my main character. One commander science. So yeah, I'm going to put that on my main character. And uh, that's another ship I'm going to look at in the future. I'll upgrade it to tier 5U and do a review on it. But those are the two ships. I want the, the Nakam and I want the, uh, the Zinkethi battleship. But I can't believe I now have the Escort. That was the other ship I wanted. And I actually have it now. I'm on my way to getting all the Zinkethi Lucari ships I want. Wow. Amazing. <laughs> I'm, I'm just really happy. Anyway, um... There you go. That's a little preview of the Zenkethi Escort. Can't wait to build it up and figure it all out, you know? That'll be pretty fun. Wow, I got a lot of ship reviews ahead of me to do. So prepare yourselves, because I'm going to do them. Thank you all for watching, and stay tuned for the next one.